Rebuilding a very old horizontal steam engine and it's time for part 14. This is about mahogany cladding the steam cylinder. The idea of cladding a steam cylinder is to keep the heat in. The more heat you can keep in the cylinder the more efficient the engine is. The problem I have with this is I don't have enough cladding. This is what came with the engine and the pieces of wood were just pressed in and of course over the years they've fallen out. So I'm having a look at some alternatives. I quite like the variegated design of cladding on cylinders. I always think they look very fairgroundy. So what I'm doing here is using some thinner pieces of mahogany from my mahogany stock in between the original mahogany. Now the original pieces of mahogany were square. What I've done is shaped one side of each of them so that when they push together there are no gaps. I don't like these unsightly gaps. I will be eventually fixing this mahogany to the cylinder, probably using cyanoacrylate adhesive, and then I'll just rub down the mahogany surface with my orbital sander, after which I will apply some varnish, and it should look pretty good. I'm currently just loose fitting to have a look at it. I'm using a small screwdriver here just to position the mahogany. Even with the small pieces, I'm still one piece of mahogany short, so I'll cut another piece on my small bandsaw. I won't bother showing you that, that's very simple. I may be able to use a couple of small pieces of brass boiler banding to hold the mahogany lats in place, but I'm not sure about that until later on. The final piece of mahogany that I need to cut on the bandsaw needs to be shaped, otherwise it will get in the way of the bolts that hold down the cylinder. I think this will look okay when everything's lined up. And as you can see by shaping the piece of mahogany, there's no fear of it fouling the bolts that hold the cylinder down to the bed plate. Looking now at the front of the cylinder, I didn't like the way the cladding just stopped, it looks really ugly. So I'm thinking about the best way to do this. Maybe I should use a shape piece, but I would like to carry on the theme of the spacer in between. I'll try cutting a shape piece and see what it looks like. So now I've cut a small piece and put it roughly in position. I need to chamfer it like this so it contours to the cylinder, and I don't really like it. I don't like the way it splays out. I'm going to do it this way. It's difficult to see it really because until I sand it all down, it looks a bit strange. But that will be good, a nice square edge. I cannot finish the cylinder at the moment owing to the fact I do not have any cyanoacrylate adhesive. I've completely run out of the stuff. But as soon as I get some this week, I will do an episode that covers it. The engine is of course nearing completion, but there's still a little bit to do. Still quite a bit to do really. I have to clean up the parts. I was originally going to take them to my friend with his shop blasting cabinet, but by the time I've driven over to his place and used the equipment, I can have the job done here with a needle file and sandpaper. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful.